my video for March the 20th, 2020. 2020, 320s. Video number 3401. Telling the truth is a form of insanity and tyranny. Hmm. <laughs> John Lennon saw it and they killed him. Here's what he said in an interview on BBC TV on June 22nd, 1968. Quote, our society is run by insane people for insane objectives. I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal ends. And I think I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. That's what's insane about it, end quote. They put him away permanently. He was not insane. He was killed. Was Addis Huxley right when he called for tyranny, which he called the modern war? Quote, a democracy which makes or even effectively prepares for modern scientific war must necessarily cease to be democratic. No country can be really well prepared for a modern war unless it is governed by a tyrant at the head of a highly trained and perfectly obedient bureaucracy, end quote. Sorry, but I still cannot trust the bureaucracy of what we call government. I never will. Our governments never tell the plain truth that is unmixed with their lies. They are the ones who are insane pushing their maniacal ends. They never tell the truth. Hmm. Let me start by saying that uh, I had something very strange happen last night. I woke up before 2 a.m. and uh, put my blood pressure cuff on and fell asleep for an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half, almost. With the blood pressure cuff still on my arm, but I didn't take my blood pressure. I still haven't taken it because when I saw that it was after three o'clock, 20 after three, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm late. I always put my video up at 3 a.m., but today I, I was a little late doing that because of what I just explained. Anyway, I had uh, made some notes to myself about quotes that I thought were interesting, including the, what, the two that I read in the blurb. And of course, there's a, a lot of quotes that I can go off on. But uh, John Lennon's murder was interesting. I mean, to me, no, I mean, you're wrong. Mark, da uh, Mark David Chapman was the one who, who killed him, firing uh, five shots, I guess, from what I just looked up a little bit ago. Uh, but I, to me, these are all patsies that are mind controlled. Now, maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's my perception. That's my take on the whole thing. We are not told the truth about almost anything. Everything is spun to achieve an objective uh, that the dark forces or elite cabal or whatever you want to call them, whatever they have in mind, which of course is domination of the entire planet, uh, anything that they say is distorted. It's never plain truth. It's never the, the whole story and all of the uh, crazy facts that are uh, behind the whole story. They, that's never revealed. That's always kept uh, occluded so that we don't see and can't see the bigger picture of what's going on. For me, the bigger picture is that, and I know people hate it when I say things like this, 
our creator is malevolent and takes no responsibility for having allowed demons, fallen angels, to make the whole world, the whole planet, their world. And we've been dominated by lies ever since. Telling the truth then becomes insane. And those that try to tell the truth are always conveniently killed. Now, I'm not saying John Lennon is a, was a saint. I'm not saying I am. But there are a lot of us, I'm convinced, that really do want to get to the bottom of the whole thing, that really want to know the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> so help us God. But God doesn't help us. That's, see, that's the problem for me. Why aren't our prayers for good answered? Why do people like the Donald continue to play games with our minds? He's aligned himself with very dark entities. And... Their plan is not to uplift humanity, but to totally enslave us. We need the truth to become free. As long as we live on a planet of lies, as long as the great deceptions continue, and the, and the great deception that we create our own reality, and that's a deception to me. I know I have lots of metaphysical and spiritual friends that say, that's the reality. We create our own reality. Well, how can we create our own reality when we, number one, don't know who we are, number two, don't re re recognize our own in innate ability to transcend because it appears in the matrix that we have no power. I know. I've been trying. I tried for many, many years to stand up to the system. I filed all sorts of paperwork with all sorts of documentation, filing it as red as uh, with uh, sending it in registered mail, and I had unrebutted affidavits sent in. You know, if I'm not telling the truth, rebut it. They never did. An unrebutted affidavit stands as truth in law. But when you have lawyers that don't keep the law or that have been told lies about what the law even is, law is supposedly comes from God. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Yeah, unalienable rights. But who enforces the unalienable rights when everything is deception in a world that is literally tyrannical and literally insane? I mean, I have no question, but that the most insane of all is to believe that there is an omnipotent, omniscient, uh, God that actually cares when there's no evidence to prove that in the current, in the modern world. Now people point fingers and say, but look at the prophets that came. Look at, look at Jesus. Look at, uh, look at the uh, Buddha. <laughs> Uh, look at some of the people that have that have come, and and even in more recent times, uh, look what Kennedy did, and look at uh, Mahatma Gandhi, and yeah, yeah, I I see people that to me tried to tell the truth, and what happened to them? They were killed. They were killed by criminally insane people who 
most likely, oh my goodness, I went over time, were brainwashed. Anyway, I try to search for the truth. What is truth? Thank you for listening and namaste.